okay hello continuing to same class okay in the class is that is what is the difference between and a scalar or quantity that is what is the difference scalar first write the definition of this scalar uh, the definition of scalar is it is a only magnitude it is a physical quantity only magnitude there is no direction that is called a scalar quantity uh, that is the first point and vector that side vector what is the vector quantity it is also a physical quantity both magnitude and directions are present both it is a consist of both magnitude and directions that is called vector quantity that is the statement is the first point uh, and uh, right the second point is examples what is the examples of scalar quantity and vector quantity the examples of scalar quantity is right all the fundamental quantities don't write there is a all that means seven fundamental quantity means write each physical quantity the mass length time and uh, luminous intensity temperature amount of substance uh, electric current these are the what that is the examples of a scalar quantity and a vector quantity that side uh, vector quantity what is the examples of vector quantity that is a vector quantity force a uh, magnetic field electric field and uh, for work done and uh, displacement um, linear momentum angular momentum uh, these are the examples of a vector quantity and the third point is representation the scalar the scalar cannot be represented only magnitude there is no rmi huh? the magne the length of a the segment is present uh, there is no uh, arrow mark is present that is the direction is result can be represented by in scalar quantity that means the scalar can be cannot be represented the vector can be represented by what is the symbol draw the linear length and arrow mark that is a the length of a segment and uh the length of a segment and uh, direction of a uh, arrow direction of a vector that is called a vector symbol it can be the vector can be represented by the scalar can be cannot be represented next fourth point is loss of vector the scalar is uh, does not explains the loss of vectors uh, loss of vectors means addition of a vector loss of algebra or uh, there are uh, two different loss of uh, algebra Uh, first one is addition of a vector and the subtraction of a vector that means uh, the scalar quantity does not explains the loss of algebra and vector that side the vector means it explains the loss of algebra that means uh, there are two laws addition law and subtraction law the addition uh, law is again transfer into two different laws one is uh, triangle law of addition of vector and the second one is law of parallelogram of addition addition of a uh, the addition law of parallelogram uh, that means uh, the scalar is a, does not explains the algebra of algebraic laws of vector uh, sorry algebraic laws and the vector can be it explains the algebra uh, that is the algebraic of laws hmm this is the fourth point fifth point to the scalar can be does not explains the dot and cross products of multiplication and determinant method and a vector can be it explains the the scalar multiplication of a vector that means uh, it explains the dot and cross product of a any two vectors this is the difference between the scalar and vectors hmm? what is the what is the definition what is the example what is the representation symbol and uh, what is the loss of explain and uh, what is the cross and dot product that is the difference between scalar and vector and the next concept is what is the types of vectors types of a vector there are uh, so many types of vectors uh, is uh, it is classified into vector is classified into so many types that is the first one is uh, first type is uh, parallel vector first type is parallel vector what is the vector what is the meaning of vector it is a vector combi it is a presence of it is consist of both magnitude and direction okay na parallel vectors means the so many vectors the two or more vectors see that is the one vector hmm? vector a and this is called vector b vector a and vector b and one more vector that is a vector c vector c uh, the parallel vectors means the two this is a uh, three vectors vector a vector b vector c that is two or more vectors that means is acting parallel to the parallel to each other 
What is the direction of this vector? That is a vector A is parallel to vector B. Vector B is parallel to vector C. Vector C is parallel to the vector A. That means the parallel vectors means the two or more vectors are acting parallel to the same plane, same line. That is called parallel vector. That means vector A must be is equal to vector B must be is equal to vector C. That is called parallel vector. And vectors P, the vector A and vector P, or vector B and vector C are, are parallel vectors. Okay now. Huh? And equal second type is equal vector. Equal vector. Equal vector means that is also called positive vector. Positive vector and is also called like vector. Like vector. Huh? The equal vector means it is also called positive and like vector. The two or more, what is the meaning of uh, equal vector? The two or more vectors, uh, the two or more vectors. See, that is a vector A, vector A, capital A is the vector A, and capital B is the one more vector that is called vector B. That means the direction of the two vectors, vector A and vector B, with the two vectors, the direction magnitude is same, the magnitude is length is same. And the direction of A to vector C is uh, both are uh, same upward direction. That is the positive direction. That is called equal vector. That means the equal vector means if two or more vectors having a equal magnitude and same direction, magnitude is equal and same direction. That is called equal vector. That is also called like vector. L like A like vector. That means the equal vector is A. It is a vector, it is a magnitude is, the magnitude is equal, the direction is same, that is called equal vector. That is, vector A must be is equal to vector B. Okay, now, next third one is, third one is a negative vector, that is unequal vector, unequal, unequal vector, that is also called negative vector, that is also called unlike vector unlike vector what is the meaning of equal unequal vector it is a it is also called a vector the two or more vectors see there is a one vector vector a vector a is the upward direction and vector b that is the downward direction vector a and vector b be the any two vectors vector a and vector b be the any two vectors it is acting on equal and opposite directions. It is acting on the equal and opposite direction. That means the magnitude is same, the direction is different. What is the difference between vector A and vector B? See, the magnitude is one, same, the length is same, the direction is the vector A. The direction of a vector A is upward direction, the direction of a vector B is downward direction, downward direction. That is the equal and opposite direction. That is a the that means the unequal vector means that is also called negative vector or unlike vector means the two or more vectors the two or more vectors the man acting on the, the magnitude is same the equal magnitude but opposite direction the equal magnitude and opposite direction that is called negative vector that is also called unlike vector that is vector a must be is equal to negative sign of that is opposite direction that is a negative sign of a vector b that is called unlike unlike vector next the fourth type is the fourth one is that is a null vector n u l l null vector that is also called zero vector zero vector what is the meaning of null vector see the magnitude can be the vector can be represented by that is a magnitude of a segment and arrow marker the magnitude is zero the magnitude is a zero that is called null vector hmm? the null vector means it is a vector the vector of a the magnitude is zero is called zero vector that is also called null vector what is the example of null vector the velocity of a vertical projected body that is the highest point Huh? The velocity of a, the vertically, the initial velocity, the vertically projected body of a velocity is zero. The velocity of a ball, that is the initial position, equilibrium position, 
द वेलोसिटी ऑफ ए बॉब अगर सिंपल पेंडलम इज एक्सट्रीम फंक्शन दैट इज इज जीरो दैट इज कॉल्ड नल वेक्टर दैट इज आल्सो कॉल्ड जीरो वेक्टर नेक्स्ट टू फिफ्थ वन इज यूनिट वेक्टर यूनिट वेक्टर इट इज द सिंबल ऑफ द यूनिट वेक्टर इज दैट इज वेक्टर ए स्मॉल वेक्टर ए स्मॉल वेक्टर बी वेक्टर सी ना द यूनिट वेक्टर मींस द मैग्नीट्यूड इज 1 द लेंथ ऑफ ए सेगमेंट इज 1 हां the length of a segment is that is also called magnitude is one magnitude is only one only one that is called unit vector if the unit vector can be written as the unit vector that is a cap a the symbol of the unit vector is cap can be cap the symbol is called cap the cap can be represented by unit vector the unit vector of a the unit vector of a is defined as that is vector a by magnitude of a modulus of a vector a the vector a that is a vector a divided by magnitude of a vector a this is the uh, uh, fifth type of a unit vector huh? the unit vector means the it is also vector the magnitude is when that is called unit vector the unit vector can be the symbol of the unit vector is a cap that is the a cap must be is equal to vector a divided by magnitude of vector a what is the modulus of vector a the modulus of vector a the modulus of a vector a can be represented by it is a that is the coordinates the the coordinates is consist of there is a three coordinates that is a x and y coordinates there is a i cap j cap and k cap the modulus of a Two coordinates is given by root of x square plus y square. That is a two-dimensional formula. The modulus of a vector, the three coordinates is given by root of x square plus y square plus z square. This is the modulus of a vector. The modulus of a vector is is given by two-dimensional formula and three-dimensional formula. The two-dimensional formula means root of x square plus y square. The three-dimensional formula means root of x square plus y square plus z square. this is the concept of what that is a, the types of the fifth type of a unit vector and the sixth one is position vector position position vector what is the meaning of position vector it is also vector it is also vector is used to specify the position of a point with respect to some fixed point is called position vector see this is the vector this position a a is a, that is a fixed position and uh, the position b is a it is a varied position huh? that is called position vector what is the difference between this a and b what is the difference between final position to that is initial position that is called position vector that means the position vector means it is a vector used to the vector can be the vector used to specify the position of a, any point with respect to the fixed point that is called position vector okay now that is the sixth type of a position vector and uh, last one is uh, seventh type is that is a coincidental vector coincidental vector coincidental vector that is a see it is a number of vectors vector a and vector b and vector c huh? a vector a vector b vector c there is a o the o is called equilibrium position the o is called equilibrium position that is a point of application that means the coincidental vector means the number of vectors is acting at the equilibrium position the number of vectors is is acting at the equilibrium position that is called coincidental vector huh? that is a o a o a is the one vector and ob is the second vector and oc is the third vector oa ob oc what is the it is a uh, three vectors is acting at in this position o position that is o position is called point of application or equilibrium position equilibrium position that is the this this concept is called that is a types of vector there are totally in your syllabus there is a totally seven types of uh, vectors one is a parallel vector second one is equal vector unequal vector null vector unit vector 
and position vector and coincidence vector coincidence vector and the parallel vectors means what's the meaning it is a vector these are all or the the seven types these are the part of a vectors okay now first one is parallel vector what's the meaning of parallel vector the two or more vectors is acting along a parallel to each other that is called parallel vector next second type is equal vector that is also called positive vector and it is also called like vector the two or more vector says it is the two or more vector says is acting along the the magnitude is same the direction is also same and the magnitude is equal the direction is also equal same direction that is called equal vector or like vector next the third type is unequal vector that is also called unlike vector negative vector and that is a the unlike vector means the two or more vectors huh? the two or more vector says it is equal magnitude and the direction of the vector says huh? the opposite directions that means the magnitude is equal the direction is different direction the direction is a different direction that is called unlike vector unlike vector that means the unlike vector means a vector a is the vector a is the one vector vector b is the one more vector the magnitude is same the magnitude of a this vector is same the direction of a vector a is upward direction the direction of a vector b is downward direction that is a equal and opposite direction that means the like unlike vector means the magnitude is same the direction is different that is called unlike vector that is given by vector a is equal to the opposite direction means the opposite of vector a is that is the sign is the sign is negative sign vector a is equal to minus vector b next the fourth one is null vector null vector that is also called zero vector what is the meaning of null vector null vector means only there is no vector vector that means uh, the arrow man that means only it is explains the magnitude of the any object huh? that means the null vector means the magnitude can be represented by zero the magnitude is one, zero huh? the length of a segment is zero that is called null vector huh? the magnitude of a the length of a segment is zero that is called null vector hmm? uh, what is the example of null vector simple pendulum experiment is the one of the the already there is a one experiment is there clock okay simple example is the wall clock the it is a seconds uh, and and uh, hours and and minutes and it is consist of uh, one single position a uh, single equilibrium position the three ends are consist of single equilibrium position that position is that is zero that value is zero it equilibrium position is zero that is called null vector okay now next fifth one is unit vector what is the meaning of unit vector the unit vector means the magnitude is one now uh, the length of a segment is one that is called unit vector this is a, the unit vector can be represented by symbol is a cap the unit vector can be represented by a cap that is the formula is the a cap is equal to vector a divided by magnitude of vector a the a cap is equal to r or a a is the a, any symbol of a or one more formula that is a b cap or n cap n cap is equal to uh, vector n divided by magnitude of vector n hmm? n cap is equal to vector n divided by magnitude of vector n the magnitude of uh, n means the magnitude of a magnitude of b magnitude of n means it is represented uh, by coordinates it is a uh, the system is consist of Three coordinates x, y, z coordinates. Okay now it is a x, y. It is a by using a x, y. It is a two-dimensional formula. The magnitude of vector v, the magnitude of vector a can be written as that is a root of i coordinates and z j coordinates. That is x coordinate and y coordinate. Root of x square plus y square. And the the magnitude of the three dimension means that is a root of x square plus y square plus z square. And sixth one is there is the concept of unit vector. The sixth one is position vector. What is the means of meaning of position vector? See, that is the vector. This is a, the length of the segment and the arrow mark that is called vector. The vector is used to specify the position of a point with respect to fixed point. Some fixed point. The position vector means 
the vector is used to specify the, the position of a any point with respect to some fixed point that is called position vector that means that is also called what is the difference between initial position to final position that is called position vector okay now next the last one is coincial vector what is the meaning of coincial vector that is a oa and ob oc is the different vectors the, the number of vectors the two or more vectors is is acting at a equilibrium position uh, oa ob oc is the number of vectors is acting at a equilibrium this position is called coincial vector uh, it is the number of the two or more vectors is is acting at the equilibrium position that is called coincial vector this are the this is the concept of types of a vector uh, what is the what is the definition of scalar with example what is the definition of vector and example what is the difference between scalar and vector what is the types of a vector in this class okay now okay continue to next class thank you